Hey everybody. Um, I don't usually do videos like this where you don't see my face, obviously. Um, but I wanted to make this video to bring attention to something that's been going on uh, recently. Um, so as a lot of you may have already heard, there's uh, someone that needs a lot of help. Someone that um, has been going through a lot lately, and I think I should bring attention to it as well. Um, there's a hashtag going around by the name of hashtag save keyframe. And for those of you who don't know, uh, keyframe is, well, this. She is a voice actress slash reviewer. Uh, analysts, whatever you want to call it, um, and she is a fan of the show, as per the picture. So, why am I talking about her? Well, recently, she has been not doing so great. Um, she has been through a lot lately, and I, every, you know, really, I, I, I can't bring any light to the subject. I cannot tell you anything that could justify what's been going on. I can't, it would be too much. If I were to tell you what was going on, it would take up like hours upon hours of content. So I'm just going to leave a link in the description uh, for you guys to check out a video by DeWilstonator, voice of a few characters from the uh, My Little Pony Meat series, which of course I did reactions to, so yeah. Um, but the long and short of it is, uh, recently, Keyframe, and really not recently, no, for the longest time, uh, for apparently the last eight years of her life, um, Keyframe has been the subject of parental abuse. And by that, I mean she has a drunk and abusive mother who, as per that description, abuses Keyframe on multiple occasions. And... It's gotten to a head at points more recently um, during a Skype conference with some of her friends. She was uh, attacked, in a sense, by her own mother on another one of her drunken rampages. For those of you who were like, okay, well, she was probably brought to justice. Well, yeah, she did go to jail for it, and um, she wasn't in there for long. And for those of you who think, well, what about her father? Like, shouldn't he be the one trying to come in and save Keyframe? Well, surprisingly, no. Um, her father has been supporting the mother, I want to say. Which is terrible, you know. If you were in that situation and you were the father, would you go with the drunken wife or would you want to save your daughter? I mean, I, I can't even imagine what that would be like. And it's not just, it's not just a Wilsonator who's been doing videos like this. It's, it's so many other people. Um, Miss Anthropony, um, Eliora, uh, who helped out with the Wilsonator as well. Stormlight, who does a lot of reactions. Anime Christie, Kenai47, or Wolfkeen, uh, Redcord, um, Blue Star Brony even, who was, who, as you saw, along with Stor Stormlight, uh, will be in the Beat It PMV video that I have coming out soon. Obab Scribbler, um, for no good reason, possibly, I think. But the point is, there's a lot of people here to support. And again, I will leave a link in the description to Miss Anthropony's video, uh, who actually has multiple uh, links to, you know, multiple videos regarding the subject. Uh, the list is, like... I, I'm looking at the list right now. It's huge, but um, I'll give you just a short list of uh, whose videos these guys are, and I'll put them up now. Um, and again, this list is going to grow. You know, this list is going to go from this, these people to you know so many others who aren't even on this list. But you know, it, it's just sad to have to hear about this. You know, I. I would not wish this upon anyone. I would not want them to go through a life with 
an abusive parent and uh, another parent who doesn't really care about what happens. It just... I, I, I really don't know right now. It's... It's sad to hear, and I, I really wish that there was something that we could do about it. Um, but the closest things that we can do about it um, is, of course, two things. Um, one, I honestly forget who started this, um, but uh, there is another link in the description for uh, a Google Doc which is currently being edited by many people, and it's basically a whole thing of letters to keyframe. Uh, the list is, of course, growing since it is uh, open for editing through uh, Google Docs. So if you guys want to share a few words about keyframe and just things that you know you associate with her, basically. Um, things like how she's changed your life or how you really enjoy her content and all the collabs that she does and things like that. Um, you guys can go check that out on uh, link in the link in the description. Uh, also, there's another link there to a page on GoFundMe. Uh, this is the main page for donations. Uh, currently, they are looking for $15,000, which I guess would help out with some form of safe house, maybe. Um, I, 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 don't, I don't really see as to why, really, there is a, um, there is a description saying that there is a 15000 goal, but there is no set goal. So, really, it could be 15000 it could be... 20,000 it could be literally a million dollars I they don't really care um, but at the time of recording out of those $15,000 they currently have $2,584 um, which doesn't sound all too bad and yeah it's not so terrible I mean it has been in the last you know, 12 hours or 13 hours, uh, 66 people have paid, and with that money, they're already, you know, 17% done with the, I guess, quote-unquote, standardized goal. Again, it, it's not a set goal, it's just, this is what GoFundMe decided to do with it, like, oh, what do you want to set it to? Let's say 15,000, okay, done. But, you know, with that amount increasing over time, you know, you could go to that page right now and it would be like at 3000 or 5000 or 10000 Hell, maybe they've already broken the 15000 mark. Maybe it's at like 50000 at this point. I don't know. But if you really want to help her out, the best way to do so is to go to that page in the description and donate whatever you can. For those of you wanting to spend high money on this girl, uh, the highest the highest payment so far has been five hundred dollars. Um, so, yeah, you guys got your uh, money cut out for you. Um, again, I'll, I'll leave the links to all I'm saying in this video uh, in the description below, so that you can help out Keyframe in whatever way you feel is necessary. Now, here's the thing: this video is not the last video that I want to do regarding this subject. I want to do more. And so, it is with this video that I need your guys' help. If you are really wanting to help out uh, Keyframe, I am currently suggesting to you that we do something about that. So, here's what I'm proposing. If you have written a letter to Keyframe. I would love to have a reading. And by that, I mean, I want to make a video. I don't know if Larissa Keyframe, the, the one who started it all, or, you know, the one, who, the one who really decided to have this happen, I don't know if they're going to be, you know, taking all these letters and giving it to her at some point. But... If they're perfectly fine with this, I'd like to suggest, uh, okay. I, I do apologize, I just found out who it is. Um, Scriptless Pony. 
So, I don't know what Scriptless Pony is doing with these letters. I really don't. I haven't been in contact with them. But, if... If for some reason they're watching this, if for some reason they're listening to me, I'd like to suggest this. Anyone who has the capability to record audio on their computer, I want to kind of help out that cause, in a sense. And I want to make a video where all of the people who have written letters to Keyframe also record them reading said letter. I know this is kind of crazy, and I'm probably only getting to get the ones who are able to do so. I'm looking at you, Ink Rose, and all the other, you know, famous ones. But if you have written a letter to Keyframe, and it is in the document, I would gladly appreciate if you could um, record your reading of the letter um, send it to me via my Gmail account, uh, which will be in the description below as well, just for the fact of you wanting to write, I don't know. But yeah, again, this is just a video telling you guys of something that's been going on recently. I just wanted to make sure you guys were aware of it, make sure you uh, understood what was going on, and just, if you want to help, then... That would be amazing. Again, um, links to videos explaining what the hell's going on with Keyframe are in the link below. There are also links to the letters to Keyframe uh, Google document, and also a link to the GoFundMe uh, campaign page uh, so that you guys can help donate money to the cause of helping one girl, helping one almost lonely girl uh, find happiness once again. Also, if you have done a letter to Keyframe, um, I would love to have you read the letter. Send me your reading to uh, the Gmail account, and I will put it in a video of your audio reading the letter and having all the letters basically be read all together, in a sense. I don't know if Scriptless is going to do that, but if he is, he'll put it in the description. Anyway, um, I think that's all for me. I, I, I've been going on for so long. I've been going on for like 20 minutes. I know this this should be you know shorter, but... I really just want to get this message out. I want to just tell you guys what's going on. So, yeah, I guess that's it. Thank you for listening and understanding what's happening. And uh, I really wish there was an OC of me on screen right now. Because <laughs> um, it just feels like a little awkward to have like my audio in the back and no one on screen except for you know, people who aren't me. Anywho, thanks again for watching and listening, and um, yeah, see you guys next time. So one more thing before I go, guys. Um, while recording this entire thing and putting this all together, um, I have just realized that Keyframe has released her own personal statement, and I... I'm going to read it to you. Uh, the link to the document is actually in the description as well. So, that said, here's what the document says. Eight years. Doesn't seem like a lot, does it? To some, it's the term of a president. Or just a number. When I see eight years, I see almost half my life that was taken from me and sabotaged by parents that, for ten years, used to be caring and kind, but got poisoned by the disease of addiction. I've witnessed fights between them, and had to be the one to break them up, catch punches, call the cops, be yelled and demeaned, censored and shamed, and feel guilty for being who I am. Particular cases include the assault that has been stated in these videos before, and another recorded occasion on Toon Critic's live streams in late December of last year. 
It was always the same excuse each time. I was drunk. To anyone reading this, let me give you this piece of knowledge. You cannot blame the bottle for your actions. It does not put a gun to your head. It does not whisper into your ear. It just takes away what was holding you back. I've been abused verbally and gaining as of recent physically over the course of eight years, progressing as each one went on. It hurts to think, let alone type, that my own parents have had me had thoughts of suicide and depression. The feelings they've made me feel taking me to a dark place in my mind I didn't know I had. I am thankful every day I found the internet, found people and the life and career I wanted to live. It is because of you people, my fans, friends, and internet family, that I've had a reason to get out of bed every morning and go to school and study and work no matter how much my body wanted to hold me back. As I take this step into a new life, a chance to escape this past I received, Will and Eliora asked me for permission to let out details of my situation. It was hard to say yes at first. I mean, this is eight years, almost a decade of pain that I've hidden from the public to lessen their troubles and keep up this mirage of perfection, my real life being known by only close friends. I eventually gave them permission, and when I woke up in the morning the other day, the video was up filled with comments. My DeviantArt was buzzing, and my email kept sending notification after notification of donations pending on my PayPal. The only word to describe my reaction is humbled. Never in my life have I felt this wave of kindness and generosity, and it brought me to tears reading the letters people have sent and the videos others have, been, have made regarding the issue. Reading comment after comment of people talking to me, Wishing condolences and telling their stories. It's amazing. I have to give a personal thank you to a few people. First, of course, is to Will and Eliora. You two, if it wasn't for you guys, none of this would have happened. The world would have still been in the dark, and my struggle would have gotten worse. You two have huge hearts that I hope you both realize are beautiful things. And I love you both so much. Second is to my boyfriend, Golden Fox. Brett, over the almost year we have been together, you have made me the happiest woman alive. You've given me love, time, and kind words that I will forever cherish. And I'm happy to say you are someone I want to spend my life with. You have kept me company during my hardest times and stopped me from killing myself more than once. Thank you. I love you, babe. Thirdly, the token foreigner himself, A.N.Y. In all serious, Max, if you're reading this, I could not have found so many great people in my life if it wasn't for you. You were my friend before anyone else, and as time goes on, our friendship has been one of the deepest and closest I've ever shared. You've been there for me with a level head whenever mine was stuck in the pits, and you helped pick me up when I was down with your own special brand of humor. And while I never regret having to make you feel powerless in these situations, know that you have had a huge impact on my life. And you are a lifesaver. I know we joke and ship A and Y key like all hellfire, but know I do love you in a way of knowing that without this person in your life, it wouldn't be the same. I'd like to thank my circle of friends. Toon Critic Y2K, Lightning Bliss, Massacre Molly, Isaac Collar BB, Train Lover, Aeon of Dreams, J Fox, Umbra, and Nature. You are my breakfast club. You are my Bard and Bellas. You are my Game Grumps. When I was in calls, crying, fighting for sanity, having to try to deal with my mother and father, you were there and never turned your back on me for one second, bearing through it all. I never felt alone around you all, and every day I thank God I have you. Finally, I'd like to thank my two sisters from other misters, my little sister Cat Avenger and my big sister Lauren, a.k.a. Lonnie Lioness, a.k.a. Abby Rohde. Kitty, you are a talented artist and a great friend, and during the time of getting to know you, I am honored to be considered your big sister, and it warms my heart to think that I can be that person in your life. 
And Lauren, I've known you for eight years. You were there from the very beginning, seeing it get worse and worse. You never, ever gave up on me. And ever since our first chat, you've been a mentor, a friend, and a role model. To all of you, I love you, and thank you so much. Thank you to everyone in the Rift, Neighborland, the No Place Like Home chat, Scribbler, I'm looking at you, and the Brony fandom, and outside the fandom as well. You people who may not know me at all, who spreaded the word or donated, thank you. You have no idea the impact you guys have made on me in one day alone. This money will be going to help pay for my moving expenses, putting a down payment on an apartment, transportation, food, bills, and other high-priority matters. I'd like to specify this. No money at all is going to go to luxury. No syntax, no conventions. The most is if I am not allowed to take my computer, and I have to buy a used laptop or something so I can continue doing my job. I know this testimonial is running long, but I want to say this to all of you. By reading this far, by spreading the word, by donating, by even just having a moment of empathy and thought about me, you have made a mind-blowing impact on my life. I have to keep all this stuff quiet on my own channel, even though my family doesn't know my YouTube names, I have to keep, I have to keep safe. No, I've been reading every comment, every post, every video, and every journal entry, and each one has given me more and more strength to carry on. <sighs> Thank you all. And this is not keyframe talking. This is Chrissy. Thank you, and I hope someday I can repay you all. And until then, I will continue doing what I love and making you all smile like you have for me. Good day, everyone.